That's strike one, ball two on Mickey. Steps out of the batter's box, gets some dirt out of his cleats. Now he's back in again. Charlie! You lazy good-for-nothing, laying around the house while I work my fingers to the bone. Now you listen to me. I slave to keep a roof over this house while you waste time with those idiotic ideas of yours. First it's dry water, and then round squares, and now portable holes. Oh, 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 pardon me, madam, I, oh, 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 I don't mean to, oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, Granny, I'll help you cross the street. Don't call me Granny, you young whippersnapper. Then get your cotton pitching hooks over me. Don't nobody help me cross this street. <laughs> pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Oh, no, you don't. I'm getting sick and tired of this. Take that, and that. I'm getting mighty sick of it all. You don't care anything about me. You forget our wedding anniversary. You never say anything nice to me. I'm weary and tired of being a lovely, sweet, silent wife to you. And one of these days, mark my words, you're going to regret it. Ethel, please, not my new white side walls. All right, you can have your darn old tires. If you can show me where I can get a teething ring big enough. Now, remember, Millicent, I want you to be happy. And if there's any... Yourself. You coward, you bully, you schmo. Thomas, you cowardly bully. You monster. Get out of here, you big ugly brute. Get, get, get. But Martha, why can't we keep him in the house? I mean, somebody might see him. Because he's our baby, Joseph Wilbur, and he needs sunshine and fresh air. There's nothing in the pot for dinner. You get out there and shoot a rabbit. Now get going. I hate her. You march right into the house this minute and stay in your room till I tell you you can come out. All right, Mama. All right, young lady. Mother's going right into your room and look into your dollhouse and prove to you how naughty it is. <laughs> John! Marsha! Frisky, you come back here this minute. Where is that dog? Oh, there you are, you naughty thing. Now, what are you up to? You look very guilty. All right, into your basket and stay there. I don't want any of your foolishness while I'm making the cookies. You all ain't supposed to be a-sleepin'. You all supposed to be a-peelin' them taters. Now get yourself inside there and start appealing, else I'll set your paw on you. Serves him right. Crime does not pay. Well, if you ask me, it's a crime the way you've been treating me. And if you think I'm going to put up with your silly nonsense any longer, you're sadly mistaken. Well, the honeymoon's over. Uh, how's the cow coming along, my pet? Now haul your anchor loose of that chair and get back with the household chores. That's that. Now for some good old luxury living. Uh, just let me know when dinner is ready. All right, you. Haul your carcass out of that chair and get busy with the housework. What? No, madam. It must be clearly understood that no one is going to henpeck this little black duck. Housework? Are you out of your cotton-picking mind? Now turn on the TV set for me, my good woman. Ah, shut up! Or I'll slap your mouth clean off in your face! I'd like to see you. I want to play horseshoe with Daddy. 
Wentworth wants to play horsey. Oh, yeah? Well, let him eat hay. You play horsey with Wentworth or else. Wentworth wants to play Indian. I am not playing Indian. You play Indian or I'll... Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. My daddy and mommy are fighting. Nope. No Indian. Come on, Rain and the Puss. Let's play Indian. The voice of Mrs. Daffy Duck? When I tell you to sit on an egg, I mean sit on it! It was created by June Foray. I should have listened to Mother. Best known for her voice work as Tweety's owner, Granny. One of these days, pow, right in the kisser! If there's one little feather, just one little feather harmed of this bird, I'm going to sell you to the violin string factory. Remember, Playing possum for 20 years. <laughs> One widow, two widow, three widow Indians. Four widow, five widow, six widow Indians. Is this what you've been scratching around for, sister? Yes, it is. And now maybe you'll keep that yellow beak closed for a while. I'm trying to look at the show. Here, monkey. Here's a nice new penny for you. old granny, huh? Well, I will help to you all the time. You beast, you killer! I'll teach you to molest helpless little birdies. Get up there, old granny. Give him a hit in the head. Take this and that and that and that and that. I bought you a little present. You did? Well, where is it, honey? Here, dear. <laughs> little man, I've had a busy day. Oh, your daddy. Kiss your son. <laughs> Stop scaring the baby! This house is not big enough for the two of us. One of us must go. My, that was a deep one, wasn't it? So chic. Isn't it bad enough down there without her?